Let's talk about layer mask and why you need one. Layer mask will give you the ability to make adjustments to your image locally, not just globally. By hiding and revealing portions of your adjustment, you can pinpoint specific areas to change, which is one of the really cool things about it. What adjustments can you localize? Virtually anything you can do in Photoshop, such as contrast, color, sharpness, brightness, anything. You do not see a layer mask in your final output, okay? It's invisible. You're only going to see the results, and you'll see all this in a little bit. Adjustment layers. You work with layer masks through adjustment layers, and you're going to see this all broken down, what's inside an adjustment layer in just a minute. You can think of adjustment layers as clear plastic overlay stacked on top of your original image, and adjustment layers will make adjustments to your image both globally and locally, like I pointed out earlier, and you shape your layer mask using selection tools. And there's nine selection tools that I'm going to show you. So a layer mask thumbnail, which you're going to see as a part in a minute, is where you see and shape your layer mask. You're going to need to know this, and you'll see this over and over, that black hides the effects of the adjustment and white reveals the effects of an adjustment. You can see the layers panel, and it's over here on the right-hand side, and it's basically a two-dimensional representation of those layers stacked one on top of the other, just like you see in the 3D illustration. So what's in an adjustment layer? Let me go back to Photoshop, and you can see here's an adjustment layer highlighted right here. The first part of that is the layer visibility, which turns the layer on and off. Then you have the adjustment icon. It's actually technically called the layer thumbnail, but to be perfectly honest with you, I find that confusing with layer mask thumbnail. So the layer thumbnail to me, I call the adjustment icon, just so you know, because it is just that. It's whatever your adjustment is. It's an icon, like this is a level as it's shown right here. Then you have this link. What that does is it anchors your adjustment to whatever your layer mask is, and you don't want to move that. So 99.9999% of the time, you're going to leave this linked. If you click it off by accident, which is easy to do because all you got to do is press down with the mouse one click, you got two choices. You can either go back in history or you can click where the link is supposed to be and it's linked again. And you can see in the history it did exactly that. So that's one part. The second part in this one here is the adjustment icon. The third part is the link, which you leave alone. The fourth part is the layer mask thumbnail. And the fifth is the name. If you want to change the name, I never do, but perfectly understandable if it helps you organize, just double click on it and you can change the name. And here's the layer of visibility, just to give you an idea. If you look at the image here, here's before, with that layer turned off, and here's after. But the only thing that's getting adjusted is where it's white. White reveals, remember, and black hides. So when I make this adjustment, it only applies because we used a layer mask to block off those areas that we didn't want to be adjusted and revealed with white those areas that we did want to be adjusted. To create an adjustment layer, we have the adjustments panel. Simply click on the icon for that adjustment layer that you want to use. There is also another way you can do it, and it's this yin-yang symbol right down here. And it has everything that's in the adjustments panel, but it also has a few more, which are rarely used, although you're going to find that we're going to use some of those a little bit. 